Meet Elmer Dillman. Cars are his life. He has a salvage yard that is one of the biggest in the country. He says there are over 10,000 cars out there. Besides this, he owns a used car lot and a gas station. Inside his house, he has model cars in all shapes and sizes. Elmer bought his first car back in 1955. It was a 1929 Ford Model A, similar to this one he has in his living room. Well, I bought my first car when I was 15 years old. It was a 29 Model A Sport Coupe. Uh, I bought it in an auction. I paid $65 for it. I had 30, so I had to borrow 35 from my brother in order to buy it. And it's been cars ever since. By the time I was 18, I had bought and owned and driven 42 cars already. You must be wondering how he got his Model A into the living room. It was easy. Well, we got a door behind it that goes out into the garage. We got a set of steel ramps, so we just drive her down the steel ramps and out. Come home, you honk the Uga horn, and Ma opens the door, and I drive her in. At first sight, this oversized conversation piece can be shocking. He remembers one time he had company. We had a Packard club here a year ago uh, in October that came from the Minneapolis area, and I had never told anybody. They just wanted to come look at all my cars and stuff, and talk cars and stuff. When the women asked to go to the restroom, they came in the house and they screamed and hollered. They, they couldn't believe there was a car in the house. Elmer says he takes the car out once in a while for parades and other special occasions, but mostly he likes it just sitting there for the sentimental value. From a man who has owned thousands of cars in his life, this one is just a little bit more special than the others. Mike Campbell, Action 8 News, Fountain City.